Such videocy. Wait, I'm gonna go recheck all the okay. item shops. Heal, cabin, house, pure. Okay. Definitely nothing there. Well, you know, I'm just curious. Does it have to be a key item in the item shop? Because there was one item shop that had heal twice, remember? I don't know, man. Is it possible that just any chest item can replace it and it just happened to be a batch of heals? I don't know, man. Don't ask me. I mean, that feels like a real possibility. And there's no item shop in Lufinia. Right? Mm. I don't think there is. There's never been anything there but the two magic there's shops. There's only. Exactly. So you think they just spawned one in for this? I think they put an in in there, so... I know I checked the item shop here, because this is the one that we missed in that one randomized when we never got to go through class change. But yeah, see, there's two heals, so I wonder... If you buy one of the heals, it gets you ten heals. Yeah, that, well, I mean, I'm not worried about it, but that's what I'm thinking, is that it's just a, a chest heal. Potentially. Now I have to walk all the way down to Lufinia again, run into frickin' fish in the forest. Fish in the forest? I did check the arm shop in Crescent Lake, right? I assume you did, but you may not have. I'll go there next. I'm already en route to Lufinia, though, so... K -k 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 -k. Uh, in and cleric is all that seems to have been added here. Hey, Mia. What's Mia the Lamia. Mia. And the small of Medusa. Le Mia. This is Mia and her French cousin, Le Mia. No. I wonder, are they just like regular Lamias in D and D? Because I know there's as opposed to what? Well, I know the the like lion Lamia thing, and I know there's Merolith, but that's like a big seven sword snake lady. And this is like a, you know, it's like a minion version. Okay, I said I would go to Crescent Lake first, but I feel like I should hit Provoker first since it's on the way. It's like a base Lamia that you had to like find in the middle of a dungeon. I mean, I remember telling you to go to the item shop here. And I think you listened. Hey, what's up, Bike? You remember when we wrecked your pirate crew? You think I listen? Yeah, this just had the house. I remember that now. The house shop. Features a house. Not much else. Alright, Crescent Lake item shop. Yeah, pure cabin tent heal. Pure cabin tent heal. And we know for a fact we went to the item shop in Canario. Yeah. No way we couldn't have for much. I remember telling you to go to the item shop here. Did you actually go back and do it? I think so. Yeah, just heal them pure. And there's only one, though. Okay, I'm starting to feel like that extra heal has to be the item. And, and I guess. obviously we don't need heals. I mean, do you want me to go buy it just for completion percentage? So? Probably won't even let me. Do I even have any space for so it? So drink a bunch of heals, then buy it. Mm, this, is, this would be the last item shop. Wow. Where's the damn item shop? Is there even an item shop here? There's not an item shop here, is there? I guess not. Or is there? No. I don't see an item shop here. Oh. Yep, yeah, no, no item shop. Is there an armor shop, though? I bet I have a couple of pieces of armor I can sell. I have a Kopi, a Hell 3, and a Che 4. 
Reasonable things. I have those things all the time. Do you want me to keep the heel helmet or not? Doesn't um, really, it doesn't really feel like we need it. Fast forward to the fight with Chaos or something. Man, I wish we had that heel helmet! Oh god, why do I have a heel helmet? Okay, so Kane has Axe Caliber equipped. Yeah. Axe Caliber. The strongest weapon ever. It's not even worth that much. That's not worth that much. And defense here? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna keep the Thor hammer just in case I feel like using it. Alrighty. And then C still has a long sword equipped. Yeah. Yeah. C still has a long sword equipped. No, I feel bad for Cecil. 11, 3, and 14. You know, we could have got him a slightly better weapon. I'm very, shocked there's so few weapons for funny. them, though. Has it just been our bad luck? So wait till we get the mass move. Then Cecil will be absolutely owning everyone. Just you wait. Just you wait. Well, I can change the quantity on either one. So now I'm not as sure. I mean, I don't freaking know. Why are there two heels? Oh my god, I have A8 heels. Yeah. I really wish you could just keep on getting it even higher. That'd be so awesome. Like, you're my chest, it's not like you're full heels, it's like, alright, here, have some more. But you can confirm, we've been to every item shop now. We did not miss anything. Pretty sure. Well, the only one I didn't go back to was Canary, and I know we've been there. Are you going to tell me we just overlooked the mass moon or something no. sitting in Canaria? Well, you literally just watched me go back to every item shop, save for this one. And now yeah. I'm going to this one just for posterity's sake. Heel, soft, cabin, house, pure. Man, I could have houses back here. I'm gonna buy a couple more houses. Yeah, I man, I don't see anything. Yeah, I mean, I doubt you're gonna find the answer in your phone, though, so. What are you talking about? Okay, uh, where should I go? I'm gonna go to the ice cave. Okay. I hate the ice cave. Normally. I like the ice cave. I still think you're insane for that. You all The, the only problem with it is the potential for instant kill enemies. Those other than that, I just enemies. Other than that, I just think it's a really cool dungeon, and you get some cool items in it. And insta kill stun knocking enemies. I like the ice cave. And those ones you can use resist instant death on. It's my it's my it's my third favorite dungeon. It's like my honestly, it might even be my second dungeon. favorite. It might be ahead of the sea shrine. It's like my seventh favorite dungeon. There's only six dungeons. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, there's more than that. Well, let's see. There's the four. Depends, I guess, on what you consider a dungeon, but I would count the four. The four fiends locations. Plus the Temple of Fiends revisited. That would make five. The Marsh Cave makes six. The Ice Cave makes seven. The Waterfall makes eight. Castle of Deals makes nine. So I say there's nine dungeons. Because I wouldn't count Astos' as place as a dungeon. Okay, so if it's 7th, which two rank behind it? 
Uh, Moss Cave. Or do you want to revise your listing now? And, uh... Well, I guess it's... I wouldn't count the Titan's Cave. Would you? No. I can... The Timber Fiends as two separate ones, or...? No, I was only counting Timber Fiends Revisited. Okay. Because just one floor is not really kind of a maze or anything. I feel like a dungeon has to have at least somewhat of a maze-like quality. I fell down the hole before grabbing the other chest up there. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> Bit of an accident. Blah moment. Oh, well, well, that wasn't anything. I'll go back and get it. It's not that big of a deal. Ogre. And they're gray. It's ogre. It's literally just an ogre, just recolored. And really strong, too. For an ogre, anyway. It's ogre, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it ogre? Nobody can wear it? Nobody. Or does it just not say on this screen? Really? Nobody can wear it? Oh yeah, mine not say on this screen. <laughs> oh, maybe there's a potential no one at our party can wear it. Like the jungler or something could wear it. Yep, nobody in our party can wear it. Yeah, because it's just the white mage in the original one, right? Yeah. Well, just no one can wear it. I mean, does every party in here have an analog in the original? No clue. Or every class, I should say. Well, thanks for that. Would you like to play some more? Because I, you're just sitting over there on your phone like you don't care. No, I'm watching. Hey, hey, zombie dinosaur. Tribos. I know they're not called zombie Alright, say your favorite dinosaur. And Velociraptor. Velociraptor. <gasps> Did we just become best friends? Yeah. You wanna play a Final Fantasy randomizer? Yeah. Anyway. I found a bunch of experience in here. And an Ohm Gauntlet and an Emerald Bracelet. Which I think is the best bracelet we've gotten so far. Emerald Bracelet? I'm still disappointed we never got Dom 8. Oh no, it's nowhere near as good as the diamond bracelet. Oh, and we already have a normal bracelet equipped, so... Yay. Yay. Yeah, I really wanted to Dom some enemies too, but I guess it's just not meant to be. No Doming. Dragon. Yeah. Oh, wait. For saying I thought that said hot dragoon. I just want to say we could have equipped the Thor hammer on him when he became a Dark Knight. Oh. <laughs> he didn't hold on to that long sword for nothing. I mean, this is really close. Is 34, 22, 20. Or 37. It's really just a better crit on the Thor. So, probably the dragon. Yeah. Dragon, dragon. Rock the dragon. Dragon ballsy. Here's my ranking of the Dragon Ball theme songs. Uh, Dragon Soul number one, Chala two, Rock the Dragon three, everything else after that. Now, are you just counting openings or closings too? I was I, I was saying mainly openings, and that's mainly for Dragon Ball Z. Gotcha. Because it's just the whole Dragon Ball family. Yeah, Dragon Soul is my favorite song, but the closing song for the original Dragon Ball is my second favorite. I mean, for the Come whole, on, I'll bring you romance. For the whole Dragon Ball family, on, it'd be a similar ranking to begin with, but yeah, of course there's that. 
And also the opening for Super was pretty good. That's just a personal favorite of mine. Super had a lot of variants in it, remember? Like, yeah. every few episodes it had a different ending song. Yeah. I like the, uh, voice and man square window or whatever. I, is that an odd tile for an ending song? I just remembered I have to come right back in here. I saw it's 70 Sam Ask Go Gundo. My bad. I wish I had exit. It would make this a lot more palatable. Song by Mox Moscow Extreme. I do not think Moscow X made that song. <laughs> he did a cover of that song, but. Of what song? Seven Sam Asco Window. The one of the ending songs during more Super. Oh, Geo's almost dead. You know, Geomancer really wasn't that good in, in hindsight. Yeah. I mean, they, there's nothing wrong with them, but they, they never really got that much magic. How many Dragon Ball... Uh, how many openings did Dragon Ball Super have? I, I could not tell you. The only one I remember is the... Uh, even Zeno Osama will be blown away song. I don't remember any of them, to be honest with you. Alright, let's see if I can manage to get this without falling in the hole this time. It's a good thing I came back! I mean, honestly. It's a good thing we weren't like, I'm sure we don't need it. I mean, to be fair, we still don't even have the chime, so. Cube's still at present useless. Yeah, Chala, Head Chala is a pretty good opening. Chala, Head Chala. Alright, Volcano then. Yo, I just saw someone saying that GT's opening was the best. I like GT, mm -hmm. but GT's opening is nowhere near the goddamn best. Oh, well, it's definitely not the best, because you know what and, I think and, the best is. And that's maybe the referring to the Japanese old opening, which I haven't heard. But I, I don't even remember the U.S. version of GT, so... It's like a... bad rap. Okay. I don't know. I mean, maybe the, the talking about a different opening. I think it's... GT also has multiple openings, of course. Chi Chi? What are you talking about Chi Chi's openings for? What? Mm. Honestly, GT is about as good as Super. Both of them are about like half good. <laughs> it's like I like GT, but like Super 17 sucks. And Black Star Dragon Ball is not. Uh, eh. I like the Black Star Dragon Ball saga. It, it, it's fine. It's a I, decent I like opening. the different Shinrons. No, that's the. That's the. 
That's not the Black Star Dragon Ball saga. I thought it was. No, the Black Star Dragon Ball is the first saga. Oh, is that the one with Baby? When they used... No, that's the Baby Saga. Yeah, I saw that it was its own saga, but I also thought that was the first one, so clearly I haven't watched GT in a while. The Baby Saga, or as I like to call it, the Cell Saga. I mean, he's not long. But he's not white entirely. No, but it's basically just Dr. Jiro and Cell again. Yeah. Except for it can take over bodies. That's it. Oh, hey. It's probably better than what the Dark Knights were. Yeah, the Black Star Dragon Balls were the first one where they go looking for the balls. And then that leads into the Baby Saga. Well, then clearly I just don't remember what the Black Star Dragon Ball was. Yeah, these are go around collecting the Dragon Balls. Well, why is it the Black Star Dragon Ball, then? Well, because it, it, they collect the Black Star Dragon Balls. Because, because the show starts off, like, the peel-off gang sneaks up to the lookout, finds the Black Star Dragon Balls, and are gonna use them for something. But why? then Goku appears, and he's like, Hey! Stop it! Why are there Black Star Dragon Balls? I have not watched GT in a long because time. Because? I, I, I remember... I remember Vegeta's mustache. Because they needed a new plot device. They, they, I mean, I liked GT. I didn't dislike it. <laughs> the, 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 the more powerful Dragon Balls created by the nameless Namekian before Kami split. That... The, the, I the, saw a post it. the other day, and I did not get into details. I just saw that it was there and read a caption or whatever, but apparently someone was arguing that Dragon Ball GT is still canon, even with Super's existence. I don't Sorry, know what, but no. I don't know what the basis for it was, so I can't allow it. I mean, it's it. canon to itself. Like I say, I, I don't know what... It's its own separate canon. <laughs> I don't know what their argument was, so I can't really comment on it further. I'm just getting harder and harder to argue that GT takes place after Super. <laughs> it was hard to argue at the beginning. It gets harder every time. Yeah, the 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 Black Soul Dragon Balls kind of exist as a plot device. The the kind of the car press has the Super Dragon Balls, because they can do pretty much whatever. Yo, that wood knife is actually pretty strong. Yeah? Not as strong as what we've I got. I can't go to get some dead. Yeah. Not as strong as what we've already got, or what we've had, but... Better than you would think it would be. Really, K. Goyle? And the Black Star Dragon Balls also do not turn to stone. Yeah, creation and concept. Toei Animation created them as a convenient plot device to get Goku to go to space. <laughs> so yeah, that's why they exist. Plot device. And then they, uh... They collect the Black Star Dragon Balls. Because Peel-Off Gang is like, Ah, Goku, you're annoying. I wish you were a kid again. And then he becomes a kid again. And then they, it's like, ah, dang it, the Earth's gonna explode because the Black Star Dragon Balls. You have one year to collect them. Because these Black Star Dragon Balls suck and I don't know why I why they were created and they're just like, kept up here. Oh, it feels like the show's like, been destroyed or something, but... I, can, I like how Dragon Ball GT starts off with... Uh, Goku, like, finally done training with Oob, after the end of Z, mm -hmm. and then Oob is completely irrelevant. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wow, Oob is super strong, cause, cause he's like the reincarnation of Boo. Now they're even behind. Does Oob actually do anything in GT? Yeah, I don't think there's way really a major villain in the Black Star Dragon Ball Saga.
Like, no overwalking villain. There's a final villain into it, but like... Yeah, not much. And then, and then the, there's a done collecting the back of animals, but then they go to off, and that's like, oh, baby. Eighteen gold. Yay me. Yo, I found some hot nunchucks. Cute. I don't think they're better than what we already have, though, so. After the thing baby, everyone realizes that it has nearly been a year since the Black Star Dragon Balls were first used in land. Two weeks Earth will blow up. Since they can't gather them in time again, Vegeta comes up with the idea of them moving over to Planet Tuffle before the Earth explodes. As everyone left Earth, Piccolo decides to stay behind to die so that the Black Star Dragon Balls cease to exist. What the fuck happens in GT? I told you I don't remember. <laughs> Does he come back? Does the Earth come back? <laughs> I would assume it does. Oh yeah, and then after that, the Super 17 Saga. Yay. Why do you hate that one so much? It's a mid. I was gonna say, I obviously <laughs> don't remember it, so... It's a... It, I mean, it's a, like... I don't remember much of it, but it's not interesting. It's like, yo, remember 17? Now he's super. That's 217. I mean, maybe it's better than I remember. I haven't seen it in a while, but... Nah. At least by the end of the baby saga, Piccolo is still dead. The Earth is just back, but... And Piccolo's gotta be just back now. Let's see what happened in the Super 17 saga. I don't know what happens. I don't know, I'm reading. I thought you were gonna tell us. I don't want to speed the entire wiki page because it's like 17 paragraphs. Okay, well, come back next time for the Super 17 <laughs> Saga. Uh, Goku competes in the junior division of the World Martial Arts Tournament. I said save it for next time. As well as all of his height. Anyway, Carrie's dead. Nice. Thank you for watching. Now we invite you to do all that good stuff. Comment, subscribe, like. Just letting you know, not trying to be rude. I don't have to tell you how to YouTube. But please tune in for the next show. We'll be back with more video. See before you know. For Maddie and Dylan, etc. At all, we will video see you. Peace out, y'all.